everyone, it's James from the Fit RV and here we are with shop video number four. And today we're gonna to be tackling electrical, or starting to, anyway. Now this video is gonna be a little different from the others. I'm not gonna show you so much hands-on because what I don't want is someone opening their service panel based on something they saw in one of my videos. I don't need that on my conscience. So we'll focus more on like, uh, you know, the plan and then the results and maybe not so much the hands-on in between. So we're going to start the way many of you would, and it's the way I started, is I went and I got a bid for what I wanted done. What I wanted done really was a sub panel sort of right in here because the main electrical service for the whole house is right up there. Sub panel right here and I wanted like, you know, two circuits of 240, two circuits 120 for outlets and a circuit for lights and that was really kind of the gist of what I wanted. I got that bid and it was $3,700. So I thought, huh, I can probably do a lot myself for $3,700. And so that's kind of led me to where I am now. So I did some detective work and after I did that, I realized I already had two circuits in here of 240 volt power, 50 amps no less. I guess the guy before had welders. Um, there are also, if you test the outlets, there are no less than three circuits with outlets and the lights are on a separate circuit as well. So knowing that it's just a matter of getting the outlets what I want and where I want them. And so we'll start with some of the 240 stuff which I've already started here but I'll show you the other one because you can see what it looked like before. Okay so on the on the 240 side I started with two circuits and they each had one outlet like this on there. This is a 50 amp 240 volt plug. So I guess whoever was in here before had welders or something. And I'm not going to be doing any welding on my new wooden floor. That just doesn't seem smart. Anyway, but I had two circuits, but I didn't want 50 amps. I mean, 50 amps is great, but I mean, the wires are insanely thick and insanely expensive. And I didn't want to have to A, pay for those or B, bend them and force them to where I wanted. So what I've done is I've stepped these down, or not this one yet, but I've stepped the other one down to 30 amps. So you can safely do that. You just replace the breaker in the panel with a lower amperage breaker because the breaker protects the wire. The wire can handle this more than 50 amps probably. And then as long as I don't put anything in the, in the circuit that's you know rated for less than 30 amps, I'm good. So what I've done here to step the wires down is I've actually used Polaris connectors they're cool, but they're kind of expensive. But this is the, the most foolproof way I could come up. And this is all off, by the way. The most foolproof way I could come up with to get from 50 amp wiring down to 30 amp wiring. So what do I want to do with 240 volt power? And where am I going to put all the outlets and that sort of thing? The easiest way for me to show you that is going to be on the computer. So we'll uh, head inside and I'll kind of show you the plan that I've got laid out. And I'll show you on that. Okay, so this is how I planned out my workshop. There's this tool from Grizzly who sells a bunch of power tools, but they have a workshop planner. Anyone can use it, it's free. And they have like a library of tools and you can just sort of drop them on your shop and move them about and scale them, whatever, rotate them. And even if they don't have your exact tool, they've probably got one that's very similar in size and shape to something that you own. So I've used that to sort of build my shop you can you can even measure the distance like to see if you you know do i have enough room between the drill press and the end of the whatever so that i could put an eight foot yes i do so pretty ingenious and it's free so i highly recommend it anyway i mentioned that i wanted two circuits of 240 volt power one circuit is going to be sort of entirely in this closet that yes i have to build a closet um in the closet are going to be the dust collector and the air compressor. This is a one-person shop, but those two things could also be running while I'm running another tool. So I wanted them to have their own circuit. So there they are. Now, the other thing I've got in the shop is I've got these poles that aren't going to move. You've probably seen them in the videos. They're these big 8-inch round steel poles. So since I can't move them, and they might be in the way otherwise, what I've decided to do is cluster the tools around them so that they're in places that aren't going to adversely affect me. So the other 240 volt circuit, I want drops on each of these poles so that I can plug in the, uh, the high powered tools. Now, I also want 120 volt power on each of these poles, just in case or whatever I want to plug in there, I want to be able to do it. 
Now, other 120 volt outlets, I want sort of all around, look, they even had a cat. They had a cat in their library of stuff. Um, I want 120 volt outlets all around the perimeter of the shop. So that's where I'm going to put the outlets. Again, there's one circuit here, one circuit here, and then 120 volt all around the perimeter and also on the poles. That's sort of the, the general plan. And uh, let me get back out there and show you what I've done already. So here in this corner where the closet's going to be, conveniently, I already have one of those 50 amp outlets. So this was pretty easy. I just uh, used the Polaris connectors to step the wire down, because that big wire didn't seem very wire nuttable. Is that a word? Anyway, I used those connectors to step the wires down to a 30 amp appropriate wire. And then I've just run a little bit of conduit to get the wires up here to these, uh, to these boxes. This is where I will put the outlets for the dust collector and the air compressor. And then I gotta build a closet. Now, the other circuit is going to go over on the poles, and I have plans for how I'm going to finish those poles, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up running that wire, and then I'll come back and sort of show you what I did there. And through the magic of video editing, I'm now more or less done with the rough wiring for the 240 volt circuits. Um, I got to use one of these. This is a conduit bender, and trust me, this is not a tool you will use every day, but you know, 18 years from now, when I need to bend another piece of conduit, I'll have one. Um, so let me, uh, let me take this back and show you what I did and then show you why I stopped. So starting here where that second circuit of 240 was, I just came out and made a right angle turn, went straight up the wall, and then we're gonna bend up at the top. And so there is the first of my snazzy conduit bends all the way across the ceiling. And there's the second one of my snazzy conduit bends. Then I just run sort of along this beam. And I've got three, one on each pole. One, two, three. Three uh, just roughed in handy boxes with, uh, with the wires poking out of them. Now, I do eventually want to put some sort of cladding over this beam so it looks like wood instead of steel. So I've left a little bit of space here so that I can slip that trim piece in there at a later date. And that's why I'm not going to finish this off right now. But uh, so that kind of wraps up for the 240 circuits for the time being. But when I got to the 120, I decided to take a step back and then let me show you why. Okay, so one of my outlet boxes, it's going to be the 120, and one of the circuits is here in this wall. And I don't know if you remember, I said there's going to be a closet here, so I do still have to build a closet, but this is going to be on the outside. But what I'm going to do, I've planned a treatment for the walls that's going to make it look kind of cool in here, and it'll also insulate it a bit. And so that's going to build the walls out like two inches or so. And so this is going to, and all the 120 is going to be run with basically surface mount conduit. So until I have a surface to mount the conduit to, there's not a lot I can do. So I'm going to take a break from the electrical now, and I'm going to start working on what I'm going to do to the walls, and then I'm also going to frame out this closet, and then uh, once I've got all that done, I can come back and finish up with some of the electrical. So I guess that's going to do it for this electrical video. The next one will be like framing and insulating and stuff like that. So see you next time. Bye. And so this is going to be on the outside of the closet. But most of my... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Kitty. Mel. <laughs> You're a nut. <laughs>